Hey guys, I got my, I hope, tickets. I'm gonna start out this video with the tickets from the Hall of Fame. So, as you guys know, I'm President's Circle member or whatever. So, I hope that's all the ticket information uh, for the trip. If not, I don't know what to do. Uh, let's see, there's a seat in here. Grateful you're going to be joining us for the Hall of Fame weekend. <clears throat> There's over 50 Hall of Famers who have already committed to coming back for this one as well. So uh, sometimes guys don't show up if they don't care about or don't support the person that gets in. Uh, other times they just have other stuff going on in their life or whatever. But uh, I did see there was at least 50 already confirmed, like Hank Aaron and uh, you know, Reggie Jackson, people of that nature. So that's going to be pretty cool. And there's like a Hall of Fame parade and stuff like that. So. Hmm. Anyway, there's a news article type thing. Put all the stuff to the side. Just want to get to the main stuff here. Legends of the Game Roundtable. So there, I should have the tickets to that. It's a private event. Hall of Fame weekend. It's Monday. So that's pretty cool. Uh, Hall of Fame's newest members, Griffey and Piazza with Peter Gammons. The event, parking, items to bring, autographs are prohibited. That's fine. I'm looking for pictures, not autographs anyway. So, got that, and here we go. Here's the tickets. So, um, Double Day Field, Legends of the Game. There we go. Two tickets for Legends of the Game. Dan Shaughnessy, Graham McNamee, so tickets to events, and then induction ceremony tickets. Hall of Fame member, what does it say? 1.30 p.m., gates are at noon, section three, so. My wife and I will be sitting in section three with our son. So, anyway, just wanted to show that, and this will kick off my Hall of Fame week video. Enjoy. Let's go on down from the, uh, the house we're staying at, the lake house we rented out. The landlord told us they're coming to mow the lawn tomorrow, so that's a little tall, but not a big deal, really. Got one of those boats. There's a, a grill and some kayaks under there. A couple kayaks. Old picnic table. A uh, little shed they threw in for accessories and stuff like that. There's a little tube that probably been, hasn't been used in a while, in or two. But some seats and table up there. Again, I don't know what's in the shed. Probably just lawn equipment and some extra fishing gear. Uh, a couple boards. So this property is from here over to the, the tree line where the, uh, the other benches are. There's another house that owns that part. but. I guess they all get along pretty well. See a little ramp up there. Uh, there's a graveyard. Somebody's buried there, I'm pretty sure. Did you ever see the, the movie with Cameron Diaz and uh, a few other stars, I guess, called The Last Supper? That's what that reminds me of right there. If you haven't seen it, it's a weird movie, kind of political, kind of religious, but I would recommend it. It was weird, it was forced on me to watch it. I hated it the first time, but it ended up being pretty damn cool and I've seen it three times now since, so. Got a uh, wood ready to roll for a bonfire here. Got one over there. Go to our little private dock here. Got our, got the canoe in the water already. The only uh, thing that sucks is obviously I've got my infant, Griffey, who is exactly six months old on this trip. And uh, my back issue, you know, I just had another major back surgery five, six weeks ago. So getting in and out of a boat, so bit of a challenge plus I'm not supposed to be doing any lifting over 15 pounds which is crazy so um, paddling a boat across the lake might be a bit of a challenge so I don't plan on not partaking in it but it'll be a bigger challenge than maybe it should be this canoe got dumped out a little bit of water some horse fly action going on I'm gonna dock and I'll show you the lake here pretty cool The uh, 
and the owner of the home that we rented from said straight across those houses right in the middle of the screen he said right around now there's a little bit of a stream in the lake uh, kind of goes back in i forget what he said maybe like 90 yards kind of a little hidden cove and he said there's a family of otters that lives over there there's some duck action right there so if we can find a way to make it over there see these people have better boats because they actually live here versus running out the house so i don't know maybe we can figure it out It'd be a lot easier if i had a boat that i didn't have to and not use paddles just because of my back so may rent something i don't know I invited my father up here too. I, know I don't really talk about family too much outside my wife and my son, but uh, uh, he lives near Pittsburgh, just west of Pittsburgh. So if he's able to come up, it's a maybe nine hour drive with traffic from Pittsburgh to Cooperstown, New York, roughly. He's west of Pittsburgh. So if he's able to make it up, he's gonna spend maybe three, three and a half days here. He gets to meet his grandson. He hasn't seen my son yet, so. Uh, he refuses to fly, so I figured this way I'm a lot closer than a 24-hour drive to Houston, so hopefully he makes it. Beautiful weather up here. Just loving it. Plan on getting a sunburn this weekend because I'm extremely white. So that'll happen. Anyway, let's see what else I can show you guys here. Popular figures of his time, McNamee's voice was omnipresent. From his 12 World Series to numerous championship boxing matches and the early Rose Bowl coverage, Mac Proud before the Hall of Fame break. Hey, Trey, go Wildcats! Right in front of you, Bill. Get him, get Jason! Come on, Griffin! Yeah. <laughs> Somebody did a shower today. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Come on, Griffin! Just one. Congrats, Junior. In the world. Come on, get Jason! Hey, Trey, good luck this evening. My hope is you're somewhere behind me. Oh, I got him, I got him, brother. Thank you. Yeah. Griffin! The kid, baby! The kid! The class of 1999, please welcome Robin Young. Not easy to do in baseball to play any position, but how about moving around? First as an all-star catcher, then an all-star second baseman, and then a standout defensive player in center field. The all-time leader doubles by a right-handed batter, a member of the 3,000-hit club. Please welcome class of 15, Craig Biggio. Special day. And it was a very special day because of your speeches. I mean, the passion, the humility, the respect, the and reveres one of the greatest museums in America. All I can say is, you were honored by the hall, but indeed, your speech is honored the hall, and I thank you. Here's the plaque. Let you guys read it. You can pause it, I won't read it to you, and I'll bore you. Although I've read it a few times, so. It's pretty cool. Obviously there's Piazza. I like Piazza as well, but obviously Griffey is my guy, so it's kind of the focus here. But here's kind of who's with him in his section. Hopefully you can read these if you'd like to. Greg Maddox, who I'm out of my pitching after. Bobby Cox. Big Hurt. VGO. And Max Griffey. That's the 14 to 16 class. So you guys are aware. If you haven't been in the hall. Put you down there. It's pretty sunny in here. It's got a lot of sunlight, so that's why the reflection's bad. But there's, the plaques are over on each side of the wall. Down there is where the future ones are. And there's the first class. Christy. Babe. Hi. 
Oh, nice. And a big train. Other no questions in the basement. We're going to see 15% of the time. We were at our memory. Bambino jersey. No big deal.